Hello! I'd like to show you how to make a context level data flow diagram in Lucidchart. So go over to Lucidchart and log in. After you've logged in, you'll see a page, a dashboard that looks something like this, and go ahead and click New, and then select Blank Document. After a few moments, your working area will appear. Uh, I am not going to be using these shapes that are already here, but I do want the data flow diagram ones. So I'm going to click on this blue shape right here, and I'm going to search for data flow and select that option, and then say use selected shapes. So now I have the symbols that I want of uh, two different types for data flow diagrams. I'm going to use the gain and Sarsen symbols. So the first thing I'm going to do is describe what it is I'm going to model. So I want to create a hiring system. So I'm going to have an applicant that sends in an application for a job and I'm going to have an engineering manager who is going to be uh, hiring that person. So I'm first going to create uh, the system. So when we do a context level diagram, we put a zero on the top and we give the system some type of name and I'll call this the hiring system. All right now this particular system is going to have two external entities meaning that there are two things that are outside of the system that are going to be providing information to the system. So I go over here and I select external entity once and I select external entity twice. Uh, the one over here I'm going to have this be the applicant and you just click on a box and start typing to change the words. I'm going to click on this one over here and I'm going to say engineering manager. Now in any large organization you would have some type of uh, human resource department that would work on behalf of managers to screen the many, many applicants that are applying for jobs and to help them schedule interviews with those people. So let the, higher, the human resources department go back and forth with the applicant to determine a time when they can do the interviews. And once that's all sorted out, uh, you create a block of people who are gonna be interviewed and uh, then go back to the engineering manager and, and get a portion of their time to see those folks potentially back to back. Okay, in this case, um, before an applicant can apply for a job, we want the engineering manager to create a job description. So what I do is I hover over this box and anywhere where it turns solid red, I can draw a line and connect it to the hiring system. And this is called a data flow in this context. And this engineering manager is going to supply a job description. And I can click off and then click back on again and move this word a little bit so it's in a good spot. Okay, once that job description is there, let's assume that the job applicant is looking for it in the online system related to available jobs. And so they are going to submit, I'm gonna hover over this box, and when it turns red, I'm gonna click on it and connect it to this system. And they are going to submit an application. And I'll click off of it again. Okay. Uh, once an applicant has submitted an application, the human resource department is going to do their work and they are going to parse that application and um, if they like the applicant, they are going to reach out to the applicant and schedule a time to uh, have the interview. So coming back to the applicant is going to be what I will call the applicant and I, I did shift return or shift enter to make it go on to the next line. Shift, um, so it's gonna be applicant interview, and I'll do it again, schedule. And over here with the engineering manager, let's just imagine that instead of just an individual interview, they have uh, lots of interviews scheduled for them throughout the week. And so to them is going to be going the manager interview schedule. So they get to see everybody that they're going to be interviewing, whereas the applicant is only going to be seeing um, their own uh, interview schedule. So that is enough for a context level diagram.